Um, hello guys, um, this is the Origami Boy, and the last video I released was the gift box tutorial, and today I'm going, I'm going to show you how to make a, something really cool called the Origami Boomerang. This, that is my second favorite model to make. Well, in, well, if you find that video, um, you, you're lucky if, if, you, you find that video which is my first favorite model anyways let's get started okay now now um, you should have like a sheet of printer paper you don't want to use construction or covered paper just use a sheet like this like basic uh, eight and a half by eleven inch paper um, a4 a4 also works also um, so position your printer paper um, landscape and then just take top edge along the bottom edge. Try to be as neat as possible. Remember, neatness really counts. Okay, make a crease. Run your fingernail. Okay, I'll open it up. Now, um, flip it over and pull it on the same crease. Okay? And then just run your fingernail on the other side. Okay, now here, now just set it down like this and then just rip it. Okay, now um, ignore this other piece, but if you make um, two boomerangs, you get to make a super boomerang. Well, I might, ha I will have a tutorial for that. Um, uh, so yeah. So okay, now, now uh, position it like this again, and then just fold in half lengthwise. Increase. Run your fingernail because, cause it, cause uh, it will make the boomerang really uh, uh good. Okay, and then we take the top and bottom edges and fold it direct, al directly almost on that, that midline that divides the paper in half. Now, just leave like a centimeter or so uh, because when, you, um, fold in, when we fold in half again, it will interfere. So what we're going to do is take the top edge, fold it right next to the middle line. Just a millimeter or so. Make a crease. Run your fingernail. Okay. Now to do the same thing for the bottom edge. Hold it up. And leave a millimeter of space. And make a crease. Run your fingernail. Okay. Okay. Now. Now, as you as you as you'll see, as you close it, uh, it will not interfere. So just take one of the ends and and align it the other end. As you'll see, there it gets really straight. Align first, align the ends, and then you want to pull on that. Um, and then just make a crease. Okay. Uh, run your fingernail. Okay. Now hold it right here because, because um, when we fold the corners in, it will misalign the paper. So just hold it right there and then take t uh, the, the top half or the corner right here and just f uh, fold it directly on that midline. Okay. Crease. Run your fingernail. Okay. Do the same thing for the left. Uh, okay, and then make another crease. Now open it up. Now if you flip it over, it's okay if you fold it on the same crease. So just hold it. Uh, fold on the same crease. Run your fingernail. Okay. Open both. Now, now, as we open the pocket here, 
as you'll see, um, if you push this corner down, it will tuck in. So you want it to tuck in. So just open the side and just pull on these two flaps. What? I don't know what's the word for it, but just just open the, the pocket right here and just push that corner in. Make it crease. Now do the same thing for the left side. Okay. Okay, here. Now, as you'll see, from this point and beyond, um, we're going, it's, it, folding will get a little bit tricky right here. So I'm going to make it simple as I can uh, throughout the other steps. So what you're going to do is open it up. Now, if you're a left-hand thrower, open the left side up. But I'm a right-hand thrower, so I open up to the right. So when you're a left-hand thrower, you, you open the left side up and do the reverse. Okay, now here we have this diamond shape here, right? Well, what we're going to do, we have this horizontal fold and these four creases. So, fold the horizontal fold uh, backwards. And as you'll see, that's known as a mountain fold right there because it forms like a little mountain. Like that, okay? And then just run your fingernail. Now, unfold it. And flip it over. Now we have these four creases right here, right? Now just fold it away from you and then just run your fingernail. Do the same thing to all four. Okay, here. Now you should have something like this. Okay, now flip it over. Now we're just going to squash that diamond there like that, okay? So do that. It's close the top half and you should have this diamond right here right and then just just push it so so this edge is aligned with this um, crease right here okay now you have this triangle now as you'll see there's a little pocket right here so we want to fold that corner into that pocket like that okay and make sure this crease right here is really good Okay, now here. Now we're just going to close the left side down. As you'll see, it has its ma this uh, mountain area right here. Um, and then just close the top. As you'll see, that mountain area fold, uh, starts to fold on the left and makes a pocket there, right there. Let me crease, flatten it out. Okay, now here, open it up. Now just lift up this layer. And then just close the left side down. As you'll see, it forms that mountain or pocket right there. So now we want this corner tucked into that area now. Okay. Make a crease. Okay, now here, we're pretty much done the boomerang right here. All we need to do is just lock in the ends. To, that, to do that, go to the right. And then, and then we have these two corners here, right? And then just fold them in uh, until it meets uh, this crease between these two flaps. So what we're going to do is just fold them like that. Run your fingernail. Do the same thing for the right. And your finger now. Open it up. And then just open the right side here. Now we just want to tuck this triangle in. Um, just like that. Okay. Now just reclose everything. Now to flip it over. We have this uh, little X's paper and this flap. Now we want that paper tucked into that flap right here. Just close it in like that. Okay. Now just do the same thing for the left side. As you'll see it, it only has one layer on the left. Uh, on the other side we only had two but everything works the same way and the right side has three layers. Everything works the same way except um, the the left side is thinner and the right side is thicker. Okay, open it everything up. 
tuck that triangle in. Close. Uh, reclose everything. Now open this flap and then just, now I just round it off like that and then just tuck it in to that flap. Okay, now you have completed the origami boomerang. I think I'm going to pause the video so, so I can teach you how to throw it. Okay, now here, um, now that you have completed the boomerang, okay, whoop, okay, uh, now you just want to throw it, um, like, with the pocket right here, you don't want to throw it by the flap or also goes on the ground. Um, I'm doing this demonstration in the backyard, but don't do it in the backyard because the wind is an interference and it's light. So what you're going to do is just throw up the pocket. Don't don't just throw like a frisbee or else it won't come back to you or it hits um, something, it won't come back. So what you're going to do is just angle it 30 to 45 degree, degree angle, okay? And just... Look it out of your hands, and there, and there you go. Now you have your origami boomerang. And if if it it's really hard, just practice uh, throwing it like this. Ah, oh, fail. A second attempt. Ha. Huh. Um. Thanks for watching, and um. Signing out, Origami Boy.